How's it going guys? My name is Eric Venn. Please share this video with your grandma and welcome back to Overwatch. I mean Geometry Dash. Over Dash Watch. Anyways, today we're gonna be playing a level called Heroes Never Die. This is a super big mega collab that took place among like what 20 something creators or something and it took over 11 months to make. It's got fantastic Overwatch artwork and each section of the level has a different Overwatch character and it's amazing. The artwork in this level is fantastic. It is some real top-notch stuff. You guys are gonna be blown away. I'm pretty sure because it's already been out for over a month. Maybe a lot of you have already seen it, but you know. Oops. I, I gotta really get on this stuff earlier, don't I? Even though there's a couple transitions that are a little weird, Overall, the entire level is still a really fantastic level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into practice mode and I'm gonna show you a couple of the trickier bits. It'll lag for a lot of people. I don't know if this is very mobile friendly, but there's a couple parts that I have heavy lag on. So yeah, now this part right here, big tip, you can just fall down there. Normally, like you should go up and down like this. You go boop, 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 like that, but you don't, you don't even have to do that. You just fall down and then you can hit all three of those. This part here, pretty easy, but there's one trick. Right there, you have to jump a little late on that jump ring. If you try to hit that early, you'll die. By the way, doesn't the artwork look fantastic? The Tracer one, the Hanzo one. This shit is crazy, huh? Like, it just blows my mind how people can make this in the Geometry Rush level editor. I mean, lots of, obviously lots of practice, lots of dedication. It's insane. So if you hit it early, that's what happens. You go too high up. You gotta hit it like kind of in the middle of it. The Widowmaker part's pretty self-explanatory. Although this part, you gotta hold down a little bit and then jump up right there. Sometimes like, you'll see the cube and then you wanna let go. You're like, oh, I should go up there <laughs> and you'll die. So yeah, the only thing I'll say here is this jump ring just hit late, that's it. But now we go to this part and this part, you have to jump right away as soon as you transition into it. Otherwise it like throws you off. And this part looks amazing, but it's very shaky. And so I recommend disabling shake if you have that on. It helps to not have that on. When you have shake on, it's really hard to see even what's like going on. I disabled it and it makes it just so much better. By the way, I love the young Ana right there. That is so cool. Okay, the McCree part is pretty easy flying. If you get all the bolts, you get a coin, I think, which is kind of cool. Now, this Bastion, like, just, just look at that background. That is beautiful. I mean, this, <laughs> this part lags so much. Like, it's super laggy. But hot damn, that Bastion looks crazy. It looks like it's, like, CG artwork for the game, you know? Like, that, that's just some bonkers stuff. Anyways, the Zenyatta part, uh, the only tricky part here is those jump rings I just hit. You gotta hit them a little bit late. If you hit them right away, you can die. Also, this part here... You hit like, you hit the UFO when you hit all of those portals, but there's one that has jump pads in there and you don't hit that and that can kind of throw you off. That one right there. Like if you press the button there, you're gonna die. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So you gotta get ready for that. The Sombra part is uh, really simple. It's actually one of the easiest ones, but as soon as it transitions, it like goes bah, and it spits you out and there's a ledge you have to jump over. So as soon as you transition to the next section, you have to remember to jump over it. So get ready, blah, <laughs> jump, just jump right away. Just remember after Sombra to jump right away. And then there you go, just only hit that second jump ring. Reinhardt's pretty self-explanatory, just coast along the bottom. I actually really like the gameplay in Reinhardt's part. It's really, it's really fun. And the D.Va part too, there's just a bunch of like fakes and there's a bunch of switches. And if you accidentally hit the switches, you'll die. The Genji part, you, as soon as you go through there, you gotta go th right through the middle of the dragon, which is very cool by the way. The Genji part is one of my favorite parts. I love it. Um, but it drops you off right away so like as you're going through the dash orb you can't just hold down the button the whole time because it'll drop you off and you'll die in the dragon you gotta like kind of hit the dash orb and then let go and like keep on straight flying so if i try to just keep on holding it down that's what happens i hold it down all the way but i still fall down and die so you gotta like i just i just hold it down for a little bit like this hold and then i just like fly out right away other than that genji's part's pretty easy Soldier part is probably the easiest in the whole level. It's, it's very chill and now it changes into the Reaper part by the way that Reaper Oh my god, that Reaper is just amazing uh, The Reaper part you can just wait like it looks like you have to fly right away But you can just wait until it boops you down as the reverse so 
You just wait, and then when it boops you down, you just kind of regain control. So you don't have to push the button right away. It's really nice on the transition. This transition is just, oh, oh boy, it like smashes you into four times. Like, blah, and you gotta like hit a jump ring right away. After Reaper, just get ready to jump right up, and then you gotta jump up, but as you're in the air, you have to hit the green jump ring right away. You can accidentally go jump downwards, which doesn't really work. You can jump downwards as the ball, and you'll die if you do that. So you, you gotta get ready to hit two buttons with some pretty precise timing right away. So you want two as soon as you hit the ground there. Woohoo! It, it's kind of a, it just, it, life comes at you fast there. Oh my god, and that Torbjorn is amazing! The Torbjorn part's pretty easy though, but oh my, oh my god, that's amazing, it lags a little bit. When you transition into the Fera part, you can wait, you don't gotta press anything, it's auto. Oh, that's the first button input, is the UFO, you go down, and then you jump up. It's easy to wanna jump up right away though. Ah, oh, this part's gonna kill me in normal mode, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit bricks. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna shit bricks. I'm warning you in advance, there could be some brick shitting here. The Junkrat part right here is really easy. You just gotta be aware of that reverse portal. And then and when you change into Mercy, just make sure you fly up right away. Right here, the lag culminates and it's insane. Like I lag so much. And guys, the end is the May part, which is very chill. Do you get it? It's May, she uses ice and it's very chill. Ha 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 never die. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh my god, the artwork is so good in this level. And there's a lot of really fun gameplay here as well. Like I said, it's just there's a couple transitions. That's tough. And a little bit of know-how on some of the parts as well. Oh. Dun 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 dun. The music too is just to die for. I love it. The Overwatch theme. Dun 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 dun. Okay, let's rock this level. I'm a hero. And heroes never die. That's right, heroes might be 50 years old, but heroes never die. Do you think there's a direct correlation of the hero that you want to main in Overwatch? Oops, why did I do that? I didn't have to. And uh, how old you are, because I play Reinhardt and Reinhardt's like the old timer, you know? I love Reinhardt. Is it because I'm old that I like to play as him? Oh my God, might have a problem. I like old characters. Ooh, jump right away. Hanzo is done. Widowmaker, here we come. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Oh, I got this, baby. We're going all... We're not going all the way. We're going to die. I'm not... I'm not going to be able to do this. Although, I do remember all the transitions now. And that's one thing I will recommend with this level. Is if you're going to play it, practice it. And then, like... Oh, shit, this is hard. Practice it. And then... Come back to it another day and practice it again. So that it really, like, I can't believe we did that. So that in your mind, it really, like, etches in the transitions into your memory. Because that's what I did. I was playing it one day. And the first day I practiced it, I was having a really hard time remembering the entire level. But I think I can remember most of it now. Ooh, the lag. Let's focus on this. Ah, too early? God damn it. <laughs> that part's so laggy, it makes me feel like I'm playing in 60 hertz again. That Orisa looks so badass too, huh? I mean, I think all the parts are awesome in their own right. All the different art styles, very, very cool. I like the entire level. This part makes me wanna, ah, that is such a butt clencher, that part right there. God damn, that's like one of the hardest parts of the level. Yeah, I think all the artists did a fantastic job and this level came together really nicely. Oh my God. By the way, without the shake, that part, it's really nice to be able to focus on the UFO because when it's shaking, it's hard to, but without the shake, you can kind of see the UFO behind the glow. And sometimes the glow takes a second to follow. So it's nice to disable shake there. Just, just a tip. Two, three, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, these jump rings don't do, do, do. Yeah, I hit it too fast last time. Woohoo! it's laggy, it's laggy. <laughs> oh my God, it's so laggy there. Come on, let's do this. This part's hard actually. I mean, it's one of the harder parts. I shouldn't say it's like super hard, just one of the harder parts. We nailed it! I think this is the furthest I've ever been. Okay. Now, I wonder if this is intentional or not, where like, 
bum bum bum, that part where it goes in three, because Tracer has like three dashes that she can use, right? And I wonder if that's intentional. I mean, I know it's like for the music sync as well. One, two, three, like her three dashes she uses in game, because that would be, that would be super cool, you know? Okay, we're the furthest we've ever been. Jump right away! <laughs> oh, that scares me so much. Boom, 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 and yes, we nailed it. Oh my god, oh yeah, Reinhardt, it's a quick transition. Oh my god, really? I didn't get enough power? I, uh, I held down the button too late. I find that a lot of the harder parts are at the beginning of the level. So if we can get to the end, I think the only hard part at the end is the Roadhog part. And then other than that, it's pretty simple. A little bit of know-how, but pretty simple. But the parts at the beginning definitely are more skill-based. So let's just, let's get to the end. I think we were almost to the point where I like would ha could be able to stop worrying, right? This part is such a butt clencher. <laughs> but w man, without the shake, it's so much easier. When I was playing this before, I had the shake on and I was dying there like, I don't know, so many times. Like it was like 50-50 if I would make it through that section. So yeah, the shake was mean there, super mean. Oh my God. Diva part's pretty easy. Ooh, that part's a little tricky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh my god. Get ready, the transition. <laughs> Hitting that black jump ring as soon as you fall off, it's so easy to accidentally hit the button early and fly up. Oh man! That is so stressful. It's like near the end of the level. <laughs> That's the feeling when you get hooked by a Roadhog. It emulates that very well. The instant death into the other team. Oh my god! You have to hit that exact and it bumps you right into four times speed. What a stressful, like, last little part, you know? Oh my god! The green jump ring you have to hit with such precision. Because if you hit it too early, you jump down as the ball because you're still on the slope. And if you hit it too late, you do what I did, right?
Ooh, yes. If I die now, I suck. <laughs> nice, chill ending. Chill, frozen, ice wall, may, freeze gun. Yay! <laughs> We did it! Yes! Oh, that took me way longer than I thought it was. That took me like an hour and 20 minutes or something. Oh my god, but we did it! It's alright! We did it. Heroes never die! I'm never gonna die, even though I'm 51. I love this level. It's really, really good. There's just a couple frustrating parts I didn't like. I love all the artwork. I love all the artwork for different reasons. Some of them stand out. Some of them are absolutely stunning, like the Torbjorn, Bastion, the Reaper. But I like all the different art for different reasons, you know? Everyone did a good job. Symmetra, Sombra, the Reinhardt, my main character. The Reinhardt looked fantastic. Uh, the D.Va looked good. They all looked good for different reasons. I really love how there's different art styles done by different creators all put into this mega collab. It's really cool, which is why I wanted to showcase it to you guys, which is why I powered through those annoying parts. All the other parts I felt were really well balanced, and I liked the gameplay for different reasons. Uh, one, some of the parts that stood out as really good gameplay were the Genji part, and also I liked Castrix's part, the Zenyatta part. I really liked that gameplay, it was really fun. Um, but altogether, the gameplay was great in all, in all the parts. I only have two grievances, really. It's a really fantastic level. Um, uh, my PC is pretty powerful, but I did lag at a few parts, especially at the end. Um, at Junkrat and Mercy's part, when I get to the Mercy part, the game's trying to catch up and load properly. <laughs> and it's really, it's really going slow. There's some lag issues, for sure, but I think the purpose of this level... The biggest purpose of this level... I mean, it's not the gameplay, even though I thought the gameplay was pretty good for most of it. The main purpose of this level is the art, and the art was stunning. What a fantastic job everyone did on the art in this level. I loved it to pieces. I'm an Overwatch fan. I'm not a massive fan like some of the other people in the GD community like Viperin. Viperin, like, he, he's always in, like, Grandmaster. I mean, I usually get my placements for a season and I usually play hard for, like, two or three weeks. I stay in about mid-platinum. I'm, like, around 2750 all the time. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I like the game. I like the characters. And it's, it's cool. This level did it a lot of justice, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one, and as always, peace.